Podge Podge. I like your beaver. I really like your beaver. Welcome to Hodgepodge Woodworks. Today, Robert's going to try something stupid. I told him not to. Harry, all I said was the wood is plain, and it's white, so I was going to add some color. All I'm saying is you shouldn't be racist towards white wood. You should love all wood equally. Enough arguing. I do love all wood. This is hackberry. I especially love hackberry when it spalts. However, this is fresh and it hasn't spalted yet. I could have rounded this wood better on the bandsaw, however, because it was such a tall piece, I didn't want to stress out my bandsaw blade, so I just left it and I'll turn it round on the lathe. Hey, look at those shavings. They look like a mozzarella cheese. Oh, so you're an Italian beaver now. Yeah, rub your hand over that wood. Come on, Harry. Grow up. At this point, I was a little concerned of how I was going to hollow the bowl out all the way to the bottom because it was so tall, so I ended up cutting off about an inch from the top just to make it a little shorter.
with the wood being cut down within a week. It was super wet so I knew it was going to warp and I decided that I didn't want to leave this organic shape, whatever it created. However, it made painting a little bit more difficult because I had to tape off the rim because I couldn't turn it and get a clean edge that way. Also, somebody forgot to press record on the tape recorder, so you miss off on the first coat of paint. Sorry, I was on the interwebs chatting with other beavers. This was my first time ever using milk paint. It's pretty easy to mix. It's just equal parts water and powder. Man, is there anything worse than blue bowls? admit, you did a pretty good rim job. Harry, you're ridiculous.
Fleetwood, I still love you. Harry, get that out of your mouth. <laughs>